Hey, how are you doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT. If this is the first time in the channel and you love this mining and crypto technology, well, you're going to hit the little M right there and then you're going to become part of Media Box ENT. So, finally, like I said, we were almost like two months. So, let's open uh, the L3. By the way, I pay, I was surprised, I pay $70 uh, custom fee. First time in my life I pay custom fee, I guess. It, there has to be a number when you buy. So just just to let you know, be careful when you buy this, just one, and I pay 70 bucks. So there's something that I was not aware. So let's go and let's change camera. Let's open this thing. I want to see what it looks like. Not heavy at all, by the way. It says five kilograms, but I don't think it weighs five kilograms. Pretty light. Let's open it with my gaucho knife. Let's see. Let's check. Oh, some instructions. We're going to check that later on. See what the hell is there. And let's put this into the side. And what we're going to do now, we're going to throw this to the floor. Boomba. To the floor. To the floor. Fine. Real nice. Okay. And... See, so guys, I think we can do about 60, 60 something. It drop. More people will get it this month, and this will drop. But still, if we can make some. Remember, they say maybe 2100. Oh, and 20, 2800 for a coin. So, hey, that's in the future, a few years from now. So, let me change the camera so you guys can see real good what this thing looks like. So, here we got the ASIC board. So, we have four boards. I would think this is the controller board or the one it connects to the network. We got right there. Pretty simple. Uh, a reset switch. That will be it. These fans, for me, they're pretty familiar with these fans. Let's see how much noise it will make. Not heavy at all. This is five kilos. I don't know, maybe. As you see here, it's an L3. Yeah, I know the fan this is stuck real heavy. Not much, guys. This is the whole secret. Okay, so let's look over some few things. If you run this in a, in a 110 line, it's going to consume 14 amp, maximum 14 amp. Yeah, remember, this is going to only use 800 watts. And also, we have uh, in a 220 line, we're going to use it for 10 amps. Again, that's a maximum. And here, there's a maximum, it's 116, 116 uh, watts. And we're going to be only using 800 of this. Wow, 12, vo 12 volts, wow, 133 maximum amps. This is better, actually. I, I'm going to read it in a little bit so we are on the same page. So they said the total machine is going to consume 800 watts. In each port, it's about 190 watts. Um, and it's rated in a, in a 12 volts at 16 amps per car. That's what it says here. And the normal temperature, uh, 40 Celsius. It's about 850 watts. Now here too, just to have that in mind, this is here, make sure when you put your power supply, they are not too close to each other because if the temperature reach about 80 Celsius and it would actually send the machine into a protective mode and it will start hashing. So we can have, uh, you have to make sure the room is cool enough and nothing you have to put a fan and I guess you don't want to put like the power supply. Let me change the screens. We're going to plug it anyway. You don't want to put like this close or point and maybe the heat. I don't know. I have to turn it on and see how the whole thing works. I only saw this like anybody else in YouTube. So this for me, this is the first time. So kind of cool. And that's that's what it is. And the power supply. And I see, yeah, we got different rails. So let's use this ones. So let's use this one here. This one here. And that one there. And I think one is double, so I'm not going to use that one. It's missing, it's missing the lock. So we have that one there. And this one doesn't have the lock. That's the one you put together with a different one. And I guess I don't know why. 
but I'm not going to plug that one in case it will come off or something. I'm going to use a different line. So this one, we're going to leave it off. And here is the next one. That's it. And we have two extra ones. Once again, you can use a different system. So I don't think it's a nice way to set this up. I think though that will be the way to do it. I don't think any other way. Maybe it can be put into the and can be maybe put into the top too. It will that will be the smart way to do it. I'm not sure. But for now I'm gonna do this into the side. We'll leave this here. And we see that good. I need to zoom the camera in a different uh, Yeah. Right there's better. Let me shut the banner. We see that better? Yes. So uh, once again, that can maybe put in the top. I'm not sure. Maybe we want to leave this space. That's what it's in the structure, not get it too close. I would think this fan will blow this way. So I need some power. And uh, let me get the... Uh, maybe we power it up. Let me see how much noise this will make. All right. So... I don't know. Let's see what happens. I hope nothing blows. I hope my power doesn't get cut off either. Okay, let's do the magic and let's see what happens. Okay. So why the system don't kick in? Troubleshooting time now. Why? why <laughs> didn't start when it's in the structure you gotta make sure you power up uh, the board is this you gotta make sure you plug it up actually it's nothing left it's only one cable left so let's go back again let's see see that was the thing they're talking about oh, okay Well, I may not have anything, so it's not going to be much. Uh, only 10 watts. Fans are running. So quiet. So it goes to the next step. Let's plug the uh, in our network cable. Oh, surprise me. I guess it takes a while to start. Hey, make some noises thing. Wow. Oh. A lot of wind. Oh, my. this thing takes a lot of wind. All right, it goes in the standby mode. Looks like. Yeah, we say hundred watts. Look that eight hundred watts. It seems I'm connected, so let's see if we can see the connection. Hours, so I'm trying to figure out a few things here. Because for me, it was the first time, so I want to give you a few tips. So first, you need to have your pool. When you set up your pool and when you have your entrance, because you have to have a mine, when this thing comes already config, it's already config to be mining on Bitman. So when you turn it on, you're going to be mining to those guys for free. So what you need to set is have your, your pool set, your worker, have everything set. Then you go and change it. I'll show you in a second. Then you change it. You, you, will, you will start mining for a little bit to these guys. Or maybe for a minute until you copy the configuration. You put everything up. And then they say you will start mining to your system. It's pretty quiet. I mean, you guys can hear... Um, 
Maybe I can turn my other mic. It's not super loud. I can still hear you will hear in the room. I mean, if you have this in your bedroom, yes, it will be hard to sleep. So maybe it sounds like an NAC unit, maybe a little more, but it seems to be quiet. Although when you start it, when you start a server, if you ever start a server from the first time, it makes a crazy lot of noise into this, the, the fence, it will spin down. So in the, for the, about a, a minute, you're gonna get this crazy, it's like you're turning like, in a, like a turbine engine. And, and then it will come down. And right now it's, uh, we can look, uh, let, me, let me show you so you guys can see exactly. It's been mining and I show you, we can see right there, 796 watts. They say 900, it's perfect. This, can, this thing can be overclock, but we're not gonna do that at all. So let, let me show you the screen here. You guys can see that too. All right, so we see here the overview, the system, where we get all the information, what is running uptime, total memory, free cache, my IP address. The best way to do it, you can log into your router and you can check the IP address. We get the administration panel where you can change your password. Remember by uh, username and password as default is root root. Here we got some manager information when you start. Kernel log, not much. We can upgrade here the firmware. This is brand new, so I'm not gonna do any upgrade. We can reboot the system from here. And then the configurations here, you're gonna be putting in your pool. In my case, I'm using kimiacoins.com, so I have the port number, so I report the worker's name, the password, and you repeat this um, three times. In that case, I have three different ports. I had recommended to a friend of mine, he gave me the ports, so I'm not sure what is the difference in each other. I just will find that tomorrow, but he gave me the information I set up there. And then we see the advanced settings. In the advanced settings, the frequency, as I know, if you play the frequency, you can mine faster. It's going to use some more power, but you can you will be avoiding the guarantee in case you're burning the chips. And for the, oh, and let's look the mining here. We see it's mining at 403 million hashes. Remember the system is uh, ready to 504. Here it shows what I'll be mining, the frequency and how long, so it's a lot of good information. And not much, this is the network, and the name, my name of the host, the name of the unit, and you can set in a, in a static IP address if you want. I'm gonna leave it the way it is, maybe I'm gonna change the name of the host and call it something else. And if you will look the pool, give me the coins.com, here we see it's already mining. Sure, it will take a while because the system right now, I think it will give me about, so let's see now, a light point, 104 power, 800. This is here, 56, 59 coins uh, a month. About a month ago, you could almost get 100. So I see now it's harder. So it's yes, it's about a, a, a coin a, a, a week. It's good. It's a coin a week. Um, almost four. I will say later later on these numbers will drop. So for now, I'm happy. Uh, the question is, you know, we need to, let's do it to run for a while. So this will be. So now this is our first uh, Litecoin. We already have five rigs running, etc. And we should be getting uh, dash. That's a big problem, Dash, because you're not making any money. So we have to see what we're going to be doing with that. I should get Dash in about a week or so. I would think so. And then also in January, we should be getting, uh, we bought a, a Bitcoin one, so the S9. So let's see what happened. It's still a month, a month and a half to go, or maybe a month. And then, then we see. All right, guys, that will, be, that will be it. In case you guys buying this, now you know what you got to do. You said you pull first. When you had this set, you just turn it on and and let it be. Put it somewhere and that's it. And noise-wise, it will make a lot of noise in the beginning. Then it's calm down. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Bye.